portal awareness and application inspector principal sir sri b venganna vice principal sir sri rajvi tanwar headmistress madam sri padmalada and dear colleagues government of india introduced an online portal for procurement of all goods and services four years ago now it is mandatory for all government employees to route the purchases and procurement through jump that is government e marketplace though the idea of an online portal might sound challenging jump is a user friendly service a sound knowledge of the practices and procedures for purchase will be beneficial to all of us jump today accounts for only 10 percentage of all government purchases but our government has been able to save a whole lot of money and weed out corrupt practices through the transparent and fast interface jam provides we are fortunate to host sri mr prabha assistant stores officer dps mumbai sri hari kumar assistant stores officer becc dps kolkata sri sri neto storekeeper dps mumbai who has consented to give an introduction to jam and its various applications i request our esteemed principal sir to welcome the team sir please yeah uh, good evening all of you in fact uh, it's my pleasure that uh, all of these three though they have been uh, regular employees and they have their own uh, assignments and uh, duties uh, they are able to share to share their uh, experiences and also uh, to guide the people like us we are all uh, new people to the purchase of gem and uh, we are only uh, just we have just started that's all i can say like that and uh, it's a very positive gesture and uh, it gives a good uh, moral encouragement uh, for all of us in fact uh, there are so many stockholders in our in this group now and also responsible persons like uh, now principal myself vice principal and hm and even uh, office person so though we are dealing uh, directly the other stockholders also if they get a clear idea i think they will be able to uh, help in many ways in the school also so uh, by taking the time my colleagues also joined here i welcome them and the team which has come now three three of you uh, very hearty welcome to uh, this uh, online meet and as dr style had a discussion with me sometime or the other uh, the other uh, uh, how any doubt just note down and once the discourse the discussion is over uh, you can uh, raise the doubts uh, that is required so that they also will clarify better way and uh, we can get a better picture when we ask in the form of doubts okay and once again i welcome the team and all my colleagues so thank you dr sail please yes sir Uh, dear colleagues, uh, let let uh, hear out colleague. what Sri M R Prabha, Sri Hari Kumar, and Sri Neto is going to share with us. Sir, please over to you, sir. As sir Steinmol sir said, uh, it started in the year 2016. The program was developed by D J S and D. Earlier it was a D J S and D director director general of surplus and disposal. They were doing all the purchase for government organizations. Now in the year, government definitely decided to switch over to electronic media. e procurement that is in the year 2016 it started in the year 2016 and de developed by dgs and only under the ministry of commerce and industry now later in 2017 gfr one rule is added rule number 149 it is made mandatory all the government organizations central government state government and public sector undertaking all organizations they have to procure material through gem only so that made a mandatory by allotting the rule 149 so now it is a compulsory there are three we can say there are total uh, 26 lakh sellers are there in this gem portal total 26 lakh and the near about a uh, 52 lakh product we can see so varieties of materials different types of materials we can procure in this through this portal for this the government has decided the three main role that is a consignee means a buyer and a seller and the next one 
paying authority. So buyer has their own rule, consignor has their own rule, and pay and accounts officer, those who are reimbursing the amount to the seller, they are having their own rule. So in GFR, it states that up to 50,000, the suppliers available, available, available suppliers on GEM portal, meeting our quality, specification and delivery period, those sellers meeting these three requirements, we can procure the material. From these three, this seller, we can procure the material. And 50,000 and above, up to 30 lakh, lowest price, lowest price among available sellers of minimum three, minimum three different manufacturers. So minimum three different manufacturers are required if the cost is, estimated cost is 50,000 and above, 50,000 up to 30 lakh. And above 30 lakh, different tools they are using, online bidding rules they are using, bidding or reverse action. But in a different government organizations, to apply the finance, to control the finance, it is restricted to some extent, up to 25,000, 25,000 to 5 lakh and above 5 lakh. These are the three criteria in GEM portal. So definitely we have to procure, the government organizations have to procure material through GEM portal only. There is no way. Earlier we can purchase uh, through normal procurement procedure. Now it is not possible. Government of India made it very clear that we have to procure any material, any type of material, irrespective of the value, through gem portal only. Okay, so this is the introduction which I am going to give you about the gem portal. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. When you say the limit, the limit, that I just want uh, once again to uh, listen. Like uh, GFR up to fifty thousand. It is divided into three parts. Up to fifty thousand, fifty thousand to thirty lakh. And above 30 lakh. That is in GFR. Yes. Yes. But in GEM, it is decided up to 25,000, then 25,000 to 5 lakh and above 5 lakh. That is. Uh, this is not a formal lecture or <laughs> anything. I will share my experience, working experience. Uh, and uh, I think uh, you people are already started uh, doing job in GEM. Uh, you are operating gem portal. That is why uh, so many uh, operators, those who are using uses, having some doubt. You will clear your doubt as per our practical experience day to day we are facing. So, this gem portal, functioning of gem portal is based on GFR 2017. GFR 2017 describes that uh, uh, that a lesson number or uh, serial number 149 is describing with the mode of purchase. In the chapter 149, serial number 1, purchase of item up to 25,000. So, previously in 2017 GFR, it was purchase of item up to 50,000. Direct, direct purchase we can do. So after that, in 2019, it is amended up to 25,000 rupees only, value of 25,000 rupees only we can purchase directly from the local market without obtaining any quotation. So as per this rule, GEM is framed, GEM rule is framed based on the first rule without obtaining any quotation, directly we can purchase or directly we can place the order up to the value of 25,000 for any item meeting our uh, required specification and uh, value of the material. Value of the material means if you are searching in the gem portal for a particular item, you will see that, you can see that suppose a mobile phone, it is costing some model, particular model with some specific features and etc. It is costing 20, uh, 10,000 rupees. But you have to see in the local online market also whether this price is written in the gem portal or 
price quoted by the or written by the supplier that particular supplier is reasonable or no it means if the price of the mrp price of the product in the online local market amazon or um, whatever other reliance market etc tata click etc it is uh, if it is 10000 or below gem seller gem vendor cannot uh, charge more than the mrp price so you should ensure that the mrp price of the local uh, 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 that product shall be below mrp in the gem bottle also while purchasing that is the buyer's responsibility to check the mrp price of the product in the local market understood no any doubt is there this this point anybody is having any doubts i want to say if we are purchasing a product with an mrp price of 10000 gem seller should not price more than the mrp understood na so this direct purchase we can uh, do up to the value of 25000 About twenty-five thousand up to five lakh, it can be any product can be purchased by selecting a different three brand, three different brands. Suppose we want a particular chair or table with our own specification, length and width and etc., uh, with some particular uh, size and model etc. Different three brand, Godrej make or Larsen and Dubro make or Vipro make. three different brand we have to select with our required quality and specification which one is coming lowest we have we can give order for that product if we are selecting we want to select a particular three models if three brand is not available in the gem portal we we have to go ahead with the bidding process we have to create bidding for that particular product that system will automatically invite you for this uh, bid process if three products and three different brands are not available in the jump board automatically system will guide lead you to invite or create bidding process but in dps our dp direct to purchase and stores in mumbai department of atomic energy our directory is issued a circular more than 2 lakh you cannot it is mandatory for obtaining bidding process So we cannot go for selecting three brand we have to compulsory go for bidding process because every now and then we are selecting three brand and uh, giving order for a particular lowest product any some uh, continuous malpractice or uh, some something can be uh, okay that is why for avoiding this practice also compulsory there is no limit in gem system there is no limit for inviting bidding process or creating bidding even for 25000 or below 25000 also we can purchase through bid mode there are three four method of purchasing direct purchasing bidding process and reverse auction ra and another boq bidding and custom bidding these are the various method of various process of purchasing through gem Direct purchasing up to twenty five thousand above twenty five thousand up to the value of five lakh we can purchase through. It is calling in the gem language. It is L one purchase. L one purchase. That is from twenty five thousand to five lakh. We can select three brand and uh, order is to be placed for the lowest value. And above five lakh we can purchase through. creating bidding process bidding means uh, we can invite a tender and uh, fix a due date and after due date we are getting quotation after opening the bid we are getting offers from the supplier we have to compare the compile the order which one is coming lowest we have to give order system will give order on lowest only system will allow will not allow to go for more uh, above l1 uh, party this is normal bidding process another uh, one is direct purchase l1 purchase and bid purchase another is reverse auction reverse auction means above 25 lakh compulsory we have to purchase through reverse auction method what is reverse auction means 
ബിലോ ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് ലാക്ക് ആൾസോ വി ക്യാൻ പർച്ചേസ് ത്രൂ റിവേഴ്സ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ദി പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് റിവേഴ്സ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ ക്ലിക്കിംഗ് ദി മോഡ് ഓഫ് പർച്ചേസ് റിവേഴ്സ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബിഡ് വിൽ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ബിഡ് വിൽ ജനറേറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഗിവ് ദി പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഓർ സ്പെസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി പ്രോഡക്ട് ദെൻ ഡ്യൂ ഡേറ്റ് വിൽ ഫിക്സ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി ഡ്യൂ ഡേറ്റ് ഓഫർ വിൽ കം സപ്പോസ് ഫോർ എ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ടെൻ ഓഫേഴ്സ് ടെൻ പാർട്ടീസ് ഓഫേഴ്സ് ഓഫേഴ്സ് വി റിസീവ്ഡ് വി ഹാവ് അനലൈസ് വി ഹാവ് ഗോൺ ത്രൂ ദി ടെൻ ഓഫേഴ്സ് സിക്സ് ഓഫേഴ്സ് വി ഫൗണ്ട് മീറ്റിംഗ് അവർ റിക്വയർമെന്റ് ഓർ ആസ് പെർ അവർ ടെൻഡർ സ്പെസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഫോർ പാർട്ടീസ് ആർ നോട്ട് ഓഫേഡ് ആസ് പെർ അവർ സ്പെസിഫിക്കേഷൻ വി ഹാവ് റിജക്റ്റഡ് ദിസ് ഫോർ പാർട്ടീസ് ദെൻ വി ഹാവ് ആക്സെപ്റ്റഡ് ദി സിക്സ് പാർട്ടീസ് ഓഫർ എഗെയിൻ ആർ എ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഈസ് പ്രോസസ് വിൽ ബി ദയർ എഗെയിൻ വി ആർ വി ഹാവ് ടു ഗോ ഫോർ ആർ എ ഓപ്ഷൻ ദെൻ ത്രീ ഡേയ്സ് ടൈം ഈസ് ദയർ എഗെയിൻ ഫോർ അനദർ ബിൽഡിംഗ് പ്രോസസ് സെക്കൻഡ് ബിൽഡിംഗ് പ്രോസസ് വിൽ കം എമ ദി സിക്സ് പാർട്ടീസ് വിൽ കോമ്പറ്റ് ഈച്ച് അതർ ഫോർ റിഡ്യൂസിംഗ് ദി പ്രൈസ് ദെൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ത്രീ ഡേയ്സ് ആൻഡ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ടൈം ലാസ്റ്റ് മിനിറ്റ് ഹൂ അവർ കമ്മിങ് ദി ലോവസ്റ്റ് പ്രൈസ് ദേ വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി ദി ഓർഡർ സിസ്റ്റം വിൽ പ്ലേസ് ഓർഡർ ജനറേറ്റ് ഓർഡർ ഓൺ ദി ലോവസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ടി ദിസ് ഈസ് റിവേഴ്സ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബിക്കോസ് ദി സിക്സ് പാർട്ടീസ് ദേ ക്യാൻ സി ഈച്ച് അതർ ഹൂ ഈസ് ക്വാർട്ടർ ഹൗ മച്ച് പ്രൈസ് ക്വാർട്ടർ ഫോർ ഈച്ച് പാർട്ടി സോ ദേ വിൽ സി ഈച്ച് അതർ ആൻഡ് ദേ വിൽ ദംസെൽ റെഡ്യൂസ് ദി പ്രൈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ എമങ് ദി സിക്സ് പാർട്ടീസ് that is a just like auction just like auction one fellow will say this is 10000 another fellow will quote to for we will uh, we will offer you for 9000 by see, uh, by hearing that uh, offer another fellow will uh, offer for 8000 like that the price will reduce so last minute the last second who is uh, telling the lowest price system will automatically give order for the lowest one this is reverse auction Reverse auction can be processed for any amount but the compulsory 25 lakh and above value of order reverse auction is to be selected. So another process of uh, buying method is uh, BOQ mode of purchase. What is BOQ mode of purchase is that for any some setup of any project or construction or um, some civil work or electrical work or setting up of a laboratory or any uh, uh, some particular project we want more item for a particular uh, project so suppose setting up of a laboratory for a college or school many of the items are we want uh, furniture we want uh, uh, glass uh, reagent bottle glass bottle acid alkali like that are so many items we want we have to list out uh, all this item in an excel format and the quantity required and the unit of that item we have to mention and all this item uh, suppose 25 or 50 items are uh, listed together and we are inviting bidding for all this item together party should quote for lump sum amount for entire this item not individual item so who are coming who who is the party coming for the lowest one for entire this lot of item they will get the order this is called boq mode of bill of quantity mode of purchase so nowadays the as per the government order all item for the government institution or government organization should purchase through gem portal but we found that the some items are available in the gem portal but some items are not available in the gem portal even though items are available in the gem portal or not available in the gem portal all these items should be purchased through gem portal so if items are available in the gem portal we can see we can select the item and uh, we have to create a mode of purchase according to the value but if item is not available in the gem portal that also we should purchase through gem portal how it is we have to create a custom mode of purchase custom it is called the custom bidding how it will work we have to generate our own specification because suppose we want a particular item that item is not available in the gem portal we should uh, prescribe a specification we should generate a specification and 
we have to create a m availability certificate uh, you can see in the buyer model somebody is uh, doing uh, if anybody is doing buyer uh, buying process they can see in the dashboard there is a icon gem availability report if you are clicking on the gem availability report then uh, they will ask for putting item description we have to type the item description in that field again one more field will uh, show in that one more icon will show in below for that description that is called add more in that add more description again some more specification we can write size model or something like that then again clicking that there is a uh, message i did not find any item in gem portal as per the above specification then generate a not available certificate or gem availability certificate generate button is coming we have to click the generate button then gem availability report will appear in the script then in continuation of that we have to create a gem uh, custom bidding gem specification or product catalog we have to create a catalog by uploading our own specification in pdf format after this process again one button will appear one icon will appear publish the catalog then after clicking the publish catalog this our own specification will publishing the gem portal along with a product id 5116 that is called universal category product id universal category product id because this product id is not created by any supplier it is product id created by user because it is not available anywhere we are created our own user product id that is not visible to any other person any other user so then again we have to go ahead with bidding process bid the process we have to uh, upload our pds specification and put the uh, due date and the time etc date of opening of offer then after this in this one particular um, specific rule is there bid the offer one due date is 21 days minimum due date is there as per gem rule other bidding minimum 8 days validity is there in the custom bidding 21 days validity shall should be there we have to give it 21 days minimum validity for due date of submission of offer because this item is not available in the gem portal some supplier want to create new product and for that some time is required so after this due date we have to after this 21 days uh, 21st day we have to open the uh, offer or uh, bid then some offer will be there some party might have given offer we have to download the offer and uh, verify the offer if it is meeting our requirement we have to apply with our um, um, acceptance of bid and etc so those who are uh, given lowest offer they will get the order this is the custom bidding process other other mode of normal mode of bidding minimum 8 days validity is there for bidding process custom bidding 21 days due date validity so this is custom bidding process because this is useful for if so many uh, cases where jump in uh, products are not available the jump board so for uh, there is a specific order for purchase of vehicle direct purchase we can do at value of 30 lakh for purchase of vehicle without obtaining any bidding no, sir uh, thank you sir uh, the way you explained about uh, the uh, last part where we can go for customized because really, uh, very good uh, explanation you had given sir nice 
and uh, we don't deal with uh, vehicles and also uh, generally at the school level uh, up to 5 lakhs uh, we go beyond 5 lakhs we rarely we require so uh -huh. we, and, uh, i am explaining the gem process gem rules and etc what <laughs> are they were real very nice uh, one uh -huh. customized one and the other one about 25 lakhs whatever is there but we can follow for others also where we can okay uh, Better. Uh, that is nice, sir. Please continue. Sir. Okay. Anybody is having any doubt? You can ask and clear clear the doubt. Sir, the doubt is uh, uh, when we are going for uh, giving the specification. Uh, we are getting suppose a, a laptop I wanted to buy. when we started giving the specification uh, unbranded and uh, very cheap variety of uh, uh, things are coming sir in l1 uh, how to go about that one when we want a uh, good sir, another rule is there i i forget to tell another rule recently make in india uh, rule is sub, applicable for all purchase of for government department oh. that is uh, whatever item uh man, you can observe in the gem portal for any particular products country of origin country of origin and below that percentage of uh, that uh, what is called the make in india that uh, uh, 100% 50% 20% like that it is good like that it is good you may have seen uh, that uh, range is given 20 to 50 all the components should be 20 to 50 Or third, like that, that range will be there. This product, below the product ID, country of origin, and its percentage of participation, that is not coming in this. I think it is user logic is required. Anyway, as per Make in India policy, hundred uh, percent or fifty percent or twenty percent according to some classification of item. Uh, if it is hundred percent. Uh, made outside our country uh, up above 5 lakh value we cannot purchase system will not allow some specific permission is required from the nodal ministry or concerned ministry approval is required for that purchase up to 5 lakh there is no problem up to 5 lakh value we can purchase uh, sarva is asking some uh, particular brand or particular specification is not available in the gem, gem portal then you can uh, purchase uh, you can uh, make your own specification and uh, it can be purchased uh, through custom bidding but nowadays custom bidding is not permitted in the gem portal not uh, previously before one month it was allowed even small value but up to 5 lakh, 5 lakh value you know custom bidding is not uh, system is not allowed we have brought their brought this point to jam authorities notice they they said that they will settle soon but it is not settled so far any other point any any come. good evening sir yeah good evening can you please uh, help us in regarding the services available on them service uh, under service tab like uh, we want some networking amc or some other in that uh, connection i was uh, going through from last one month and ah. i am not able to get uh, uh, the step like uh, when i select a particular pc like suppose pc mc ah. uh, in that case uh, uh, if i give the service area of mumbai i couldn't ah. find any service available there what we can But do for that if you are not getting any offer after trying in the after creating bidding no offer is getting you can operate or you can process your requirement through your own channel of purchase or your conventional mode of purchase yes sir yes sir uh, actually from last one month when i trying but, but you have to show, show you, you, you have to you show have to the show proof of Uh, any uh, documentation any proof you have, you have uh, attempted uh, to uh, uh, jump out some, some screenshot or something, or something. you have to produce have for to produce getting for approval from approval your higher from authority, authority for going ahead with the custom, custom uh, uh, 
conventional mill. Conventional mill. Okay. So that a non-gem availability certificate has to be generated. Ah yes. Ah, yes, yes. Gem availability gem report shall, shall be, be, shall be uh, generated uh, from the gem board. After that, we can go for a conventional. We can go. We can uh, intend through conventional method. Regarding service also. Regarding service uh, also. There is some uh, issues like uh, go for because we are having certain brand. We are having certain brand of computer and suppose we select other items. Other items. That is one or two service providers are available. They are also not certified. They are also not certified. We cannot, we cannot go with them. So brand is not available, sir. We cannot go. We cannot procure for a particular brand. We cannot demand for a particular brand. No, no, no. We are not. I am not about procurement. I am asking for service. I am asking for service. Under the service tab, suppose we want AMC for our computer. We are having several single brands for the service school. So we cannot select a particular brand for service. That is, I found only one one service provider in Mumbai. Sir, some network issue is there. Others should mute. Others should mute. And I inquired from some other other countries also. They are telling. If someone got success in the getting services of such kind, they are particularly for AMC purpose. Uh, the services help uh, provided under the section of them, they are uh, very poor. Uh, in that case, if you have any idea about it, suppose somewhere you have done it, if you can put some light on this. Are we contract? We have not. uh we have not done so far anyway uh, next time we will clear your doubt from uh, purchase side uh, somebody has so i think uh, till date no service contract for this particular area given from our department but slowly it, it it can be it should be there in the available it is there but for small small uh, value added services are available uh -huh. and uh, uh, if uh, some Uh, vendors are available in your local city then it is yeah. some small small services are available and uh, yeah. uh, but such uh, little thing type of services like the amc of computer and that is mm. also not available in uh, cmc comprehensive amc is not available for that uh, my another question is uh, suppose we are going for bidding yeah okay And suppose I have selected four or five items, and uh, the amount is uh, about twenty-five thousand. So we will go for uh, L1 bidding, and in that mm. case, uh, we have uploaded our financial approval because we have yeah. seen the product on the gem portal, <laughs> and mm. according to the gem portal, we have taken a financial approval. Yes. The financial approval is the total amount of all the five six items is thirty-five thousand. Ah. Fine. But what amount hmm. we are uh, we we have received as a uh, approval, and we have uploaded the financial approval also in Gem. But when we open the hmm. bid, the players have yeah. quoted more than our expectation. Uh, one case yeah. recently yeah. I have said that, so <coughs> the amount uh, is suppose five thousand something, but the the bidder. Yeah, bidder have given the quotation of nine thousand or eleven thousand something, and uh, I yeah. I did not receive any other bidding. So in that case, what should be done? Hmm. Because we don't have financial approval to buy. So before because that cost <laughs> is very high. Ah ah ah. Before before placing the order. Before sanction order, before generating OTP, sanction order stage is coming. No, we have to check with the price of that product in the sanction order. See, I, I, uh, so buyer can understand. Somebody is uh, done buyer 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 uh, process. They can understand. Before generating the OTP, sanction order will appear in the screen. We can click the sanction order and see the total value of the order. 
then you can compare with the MRP price and the order value. If it is coming more than the MRP value or high value, we should don't go ahead. That is the first uh, check you can do. Or any anyway, order is placed. Then only we uh, some instances are, uh, came across through our uh, some people also. So after placement of the order, we uh, understand that. Uh, this price is order value is more than very high than the MRP price of the product. Then immediately we can cancel the order also. Within 72 hours we can cancel the order and uh, raise a complaint or incident against that buyer in the jump order. This buyer is uh, against the uh, vendor. This vendor is charging more than the MR or high value than the MRP price. Like that, we can complain against the vendor. Yeah. If it is not, they have given more than MRP. If uh. it is, have given the rate of different brand. Like uh. I have ordered one speaker of RT. Uh. They have ordered the rate of speaker of Yama. And the uh, rate of Yama speaker is fourteen thousand. And uh, I have I have taken the approval of a particular brand. Uh, means I have taken the approval of a speaker that is costing of six hundred rupees. Uh, uh, when we saw the technical specification, uh, when we open the technical bid first, at that time uh, the specifications are almost similar. Uh, 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 and I yes, yes. Whether my yes. The amount will be same or not because initial will be financial bid will be open after the technical bid only. Yes, so yes, when yes. When we open the financial bid, we saw the rates are very high, more uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, around 1.5 lakh. So uh -huh. we have cancelled that uh, description immediately uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, because uh, we don't have the financial approval to buy that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that uh, that incidents are occurring in our department also. So the uh. situation is like that. We are uh. bound to buy from them, and we are uh. waiting for more than fifteen days to open uh. the bid. And you know yes. that the situation is like in school. Every day we are opening day by day, and we need so many technical things in the yes. also, but we couldn't yes. buy directly. So yes. The situation yes. is now we are helpless. We couldn't buy that because we have to cancel only one. Supplier to uh. the rate, even though it is uh, costing is around 40,000 40, only, but we got a bid amount of uh, more than 1.5 lakh. So we have to cancel it. Mm. There is no other way. And if we cancel yes, it, yes. then we are in helpless situation back again. We couldn't go for market and we couldn't purchase. So in that situation, yes. what we can do? Mm. We need to go again for <laughs> again for bidding. And if we go for again bidding, one month more we have to wait. Yes, no, minimum eight days time is there. Minimum eight days the bidding due date time is there. Eight days you can put. But uh, actually, I am sorry, I was trying to reduce it, but it was mentioned 15 days only. No, no, eight days are there. Mr. Neto? Actually, that is the COVID essential. That is why eight days now originally is COVID essential. 15 is the minimum. Okay, all items are not there. Ah, no, no. So COVID related items are 8 to 10 stating. At 10 okay, to 3 okay. days also it is possible. So normal item is 15 days. 15 days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, this, this situation, your case is a particular case in our department. Plenty of such cases are there because due to this Make in India policy, items, all Indians are pending. Because some specific, so many items, BRC, you may be aware, so many electronics items, equipment, etc., so many complicated items they are, they want to buy. All files are pending due to Make in India policy. File cannot be processed. Like that, so many OVCs are facing much problem. Because this issue cannot be settled immediately. <laughs> it's a gem problem. And otherwise, you no. Know, if you are having a specific reliable supplier for supplying this particular product, you can ask them to register in the jump portal. That is the only way. That is the only way, sir. Yes. People are doing like that only. Ah. And, and up to 5 lakh value, you can select three brands and without obtaining quotation, you can immediately place order also by selecting three brands and give 
lowest one you can place order there is no need of inviting quotation so for make in india you will get a product instead of hp instead of dell you will get product no no up to up to up to no up to 5 lakh there is no need of applying make in india policy it is applicable for above 5 lakh only one more thing if you want to uh, it can clear yeah. about uh, we have uh, finalized the bidding process and uh, one l1 party is selected yeah. we are about to give him order but uh, when we make a call then they say the stock is not available i need a three yeah. i need yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any option to cancel it uh, we don't Uh, first we have to either first we have to send them order but we have to issue uh, the order and then let him to be cancelled it or what we can do uh, shall we wait for him no like, if they are saying if they are saying no product is available with them we can ask them to send a communication return communication email or something he is so, ready to send he is then sent, Uh, ah, then based on that we can cancel the order and go ahead with the other process other and other part l2 no no l2 we cannot do again we have to uh, process a new process that is gem system is <laughs> with another product id we can process it if it is not available then new we can product we can you can write the new product id new product id again we go, again we have to go for financial offer why is that No, 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 no. We no, already, no, no, no. already, already you got the financial approval. Already you got the internal approval and the administrative approval. That order is already cancelled. You can again purchase within same financial year. And it is already approved. No? Then financial approval is again not required. Not necessary to seek financial approval once again. We can go for any number of times. You are in mute. Are we so not audible? Sir, sir, one point. Suppose L1 is uh, saying that uh, I am not able to send the product. I need some time of forty-five days. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. So in the in the in that case, why can't we give we cancel the order? Why can't we give the L L2 party? Because there is a after after placing the after processing that is particular case. You are placed the order also. That process is over. we cannot go again for l2 and l3 etc we cannot reopen that case okay we have to retender only rebid only there is no other option we should not place the order no 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 sir no, no. no, no. once the sanction order and the contract is generated it means that order is awarded to that particular party party once again we cannot reopen it otherwise the party has to give a clarification that we are not able to supply the material then we can go for with a new product id then we can we have to cancel the order and the reprocess with the new product id no there is an option up to 5 lakh you can without obtain without processing through bidding you can select three brand and they give order no there is no need of bidding process i will share the gem uh, gfr i will share with you about 25000 and up to 5 lakh through the gem seller having lowest price among the available seller excluding automobile item of at least three different manufacturers on gem meeting the requisite quality specification and the delivery period the tools for online bidding and online reverse auction available on gem can be used by the buyers even for procurement of less than 5 lakh cars so up to 5 lakh with the selection of three brand the lowest one can be given order or bidding also so that is according to situation according to the emergency we can go ahead with the purchase process we have to select the whatever uh, two things selection of uh, different three different brand or through bidding process that is according to our situation it can be applied ha huh? we are not getting if we are not getting different three manufacturers we have to compulsory go ahead go ahead with the bidding process this is buyer part any concern any part any doubt is there hari sir and netto sir can be clear they will clear your doubt concern any part while receiving the material any problem 
or any any doubt sir one more issue sir ah uh, when we are uh, placing the order ah uh, item value may be approximately let us say below 1000 or around 1000 ah uh, uh, <coughs> bidder is from far off place so how far uh, any time we see that uh, they are cancelling after some time within the stipulated period again we yes. over bidding so is there any way to get the local local in the sense uh, maharashtra mumbai sir sir for direct purchase there is an option in the selection of consignee below that sellers reset address there is a column is there we have to write there mumbai or maharashtra if you, okay. if you are writing mumbai mumbai supplier only will appear on that screen yeah, or is, if mumbai supplier is there is no product appearing on the screen you can write maharashtra also. then option okay. will be more so it's a nice input sir. very <laughs> for us it is very useful in bias bias role it, it can be visible sir only okay. uh, right. user login only it can be seen right sir prabhas sir like if we are yes using, yes if yes we are yes. using like a normal google only, it will not be seen no no only bias no, login only, 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 only not user buyer 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 if you want i will share want, with the screen how it how it is showing how it is showing so in between uh, i will Indeed. tell something about the consignee so for payment purpose that the prc within 48 hours and uh, after generation that uh, prc only 10 days we will get for crack generation consignee so so within 10 days the payment should be given to the supplier 48 hours ah uh, once after receiving the material we should generate prc within 48 hours uh, hari sir and after receipt of material after receipt of material the crack should be generated in 10 days time yes definitely that responsibility comes on that uh, uh, particular person who are acting as for example if it is from consignee's part definitely the problem comes on the consignee and if it is a payment accounts officer definitely ddo definitely he has to face the problem he has to answer it answerable that means that a time constraint is there we have to strictly follow the time constraint that 10 days the payment should be given to the supplier after the generation of crack because crack, after crack generation it will go to no right ultimately responsibility comes to primary buyer ah yes primary yes yes ultimately responsibility comes on right higher authority higher authority And the writing will go down also. Nobody will be able to accept the offer. You cannot be paying money in time. Once a crack is generated, then uh, it will directly go to buyer, and the buyer will get uh, only two days time to forward it to DDO, and DDO will get only one day to forward it to PAO. And if any problem is there, then it will come back to PA can send back to DDO. Then DDO can send back to buyer. Hello, hello. Ah yes. Ah, uh, can you see the screen? Hello. Ah yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can see. Yes, sir. We can see. Then click click the select and say the button. We have to select the uh, Maharashtra state. Then. Who is the consignee? Our consignee. We can select one. Then below that, there is a seller registered address. One minute. There is a seller registered address here. Can you see? Here, here. Seller registered address. Here we can write Mumbai. Here Mumbai district will come. So whatever products are displaying here, all vendors are based in Mumbai only. Can you understand? Understood, no? Okay. This is the selection of in the buyer's role only it is available. So one more query, sir. Uh, when an item is cho- chosen, sir, at that time, uh-huh. let us say I require uh, two green pens, but the uh-huh. the seller from the seller point of view, minimum quantity uh-huh. uh, to be ordered, uh-huh. we will say. 
yes yes ha uh, ha uh. in that case can i go for another uh, attempt or can i do anything there sir no some uh, supplies the, along with the product id minimum order quantity they are mentioning uh, because uh, they are registered like that only they they registered with the minimum quantity of order because for small quantity they cannot come for delivery charges and etc applying that their mrp price will increase for avoiding that they are fixing some minimum quantity that we cannot avoid so because we can select same uh, same for product same product some other sellers also they will offer some other quantity minimum quantity different suppliers different uh, their own offering they are having different type of offer what is that uh, selling te technique sir they can yeah. say sell out their product in that many numbers also even yes, big yes, malls yes. they are also say, uh, providing material like that one set of one set of plastic tin plastic can we have to purchase six numbers if we want one still we have to purchase six numbers so that is a business tactics they have not dealt so far they have not opened the gem portal so far uh, they are listening to you and uh, they got some idea but uh -huh. they have not opened the gem portal so far no, I, i i will share uh, how it will work see suppose we want a water cooler we have to search in the gem portal water cooler so we have to type water cooler so all type of water cooler is coming here so here different different parties product with their own price so here uh, minimum quantity per consignee one minimum on this is make and etc is there here you can see the rating of the seller with the red mark this pure rating below one, one only so four and above is a good supplier with the rating with the four and above they are seems to be uh, good sellers they don't have any complaint so these are the seller we can see below one only or below this here also three uh, two points are there they are either suspended or having some special remark they are not uh, after getting the order they are not supplied from buyer side complaint may have received that is why gem is degraded them with the red remark with the poor rating so like that more products are there then we have to see here with the open in new window so here i have open in the new window see one particular product i have open here uh, in the normal gem without a user id you can see this product specification like this if you are seeing view seller details you have to click here a view seller detail icon then you can see this page without a user login user id you can see this page yes. so here uh, different different uh, this one is there the seller offer price delivery location all india this seller mm -hmm. is ready to deliver anywhere in india and the minimum quantity per consignee one one they are ready to deliver with this price here another seller is all india with the same price and the minimum quantity one and here another seller is ready to supply 37500 all india with the minimum quantity like that so different different sellers uh, and having their uh, price and minimum quantity to be ordered everything is with their uh, rating also showing in this page and again we can go back from here and uh, here this edit consignee part etc in the buyers login only it is available normal viewers cannot see so uh, we can any intender side intender cannot login and they can see from the view seller details they can see that this price may not be applicable for delivery in mumbai you have to see the view seller details then they will come to know in mumbai area is all india means they are ready to supply or deliver in mumbai or some suppliers writing we are uh, chandigarh or um, delhi side they are writing we are ready to deliver in delhi with this price 
and uh, Maharashtra or Telangana or uh, Karnataka like that they are writing here instead of all India they can understand that they are ready to deliver in that area only with this price yes. orders supplied by the supplier that also visible no, that is no that is not visible that is not visible. that is fine uh, yes sir. now you can we can see from the ra their rating we yes. can see that they are, they are, they are they are a good supplier. Are a good supplier. Uh, sir, one more case. At least three. Sir, sir, one more case. Sir, one more case. At least three different manufacturers. Sir, professor told us. Then you take the. We have to take the printout of all these three manufacturers to protect ourselves. Uh, sir, I'm very sure that with one session we can't <laughs> end this uh, lecture because n number of doubts are there. So, on behalf of my school, yeah. I sincerely express my gratitude to Sri M R Prabha, Sri Hari Kumar, and Sri C Neto. For this thorough presentation, I invite Vengana sir to share his thoughts on the above session with us, please, sir. Yeah, now I will be very brief. Uh, in fact, uh, this is an initial session for most of the staff members. At least they have got an idea what exactly is GEM and uh, how the process will be done. So they have given at least one idea. And uh, those who are dealing, like uh, Rajveer sir, then uh, Stylman, then myself and uh, John. So we got certain queries and then we got clarified. And I think over the use, we go on getting so many other queries, then uh, we'll see. But uh, it was a very good, uh, what, what I can say, a bird's eye view in a very uh, brief manner. Uh, you could, your team could give us a very good idea, which is really uh, going to be useful. And uh, I thank on behalf of the staff and the school. And I welcome you for the other session whenever it is required. Uh, we will approach through that file so that uh, we will get definitely get the benefit as an institution. Thank you very much, sir, for sparing the time uh, for the way you are. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much also for inviting us for this session. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so I formally, I formally thank our principal, sir. So I formally, I formally thank our principal. Uh, uh, Vice Principal Sir Sri Rajiv, uh, Tarasa, uh, uh, and Mr. Ma'am Sri Padmalada, uh, whose encouragement, cooperation and support was valuable in arranging this session. I also thank all my colleagues who have uh, attended this session for their enthusiasm and devoting their valuable time. Thank you, one and all.